Welcome back, lawn lovers. BW here. Hey, it's time for another video notebook. It's May 15th today, and this is how my lawn looks after overseeding snow mold damage almost three weeks ago. The weather's been very cool so far this year, causing germination and new growth to be a little slower than I'd like it to be. But doesn't that always seem to be the case when you plant new grass seed? Maybe you remember what it looked like shortly after the snow melted. A lot of the lawn has already filled in with Kentucky bluegrass that's regrown itself from its roots. The problem is that perennial ryegrass doesn't do that very well. So I needed to apply more seed in order to maintain the 70-30 mixture of perennial ryegrass to Kentucky bluegrass that I originally planted in this lawn. I had some of the same seed left over, so I just used some of that. Here's a close-up of one of the formerly dead areas, or should I say damaged areas. You can easily see the small clumps of Kentucky bluegrass coming back in here. Here's another spot. You can see more Kentucky bluegrass growth with a clump of undamaged perennial ryegrass on the right. If you look closely, you can see the new grass that has germinated. It looks like peach fuzz compared to the other grass. Here's another more heavily damaged spot with a lot of new grass beginning to grow. You can see it much better here. Hey, how did that acorn get in there? I've been mowing regularly all spring in order to keep the surviving grass train to be in cut at one and a quarter inches. There's no need to baby the seedlings in an overseeding. Even a big riding mower wouldn't hurt them very much if operated carefully. In fact, I've been driving my big mower over them just to get to the backyard. This was a case of snow mold damage, but I would do the same things with damage from any other kind of fungal disease. The only difference being that if this had happened in the summer, I would wait until the cooler weather of fall to overseed the lawn. All in all, I think everything is going very well. Maybe a little slower than I had hoped, but I don't have the power to make the weather hurry up. Life and growing grass can seem like a never-ending lesson in patience sometimes. Check out my earlier video notebooks to catch up on this story, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video notebook. Don't worry about it, you can do it.